Now, January is the month where most of us are trying to lose a bit of weight. We start going back to the gym. We're dieting a bit, getting rid of our love handles and the muffin tops. But uh, if glossy fashion bible W magazine has its way, we could all be embracing our curves in 2010. Now, they've dedicated this month's issue to larger women. And in Grazia magazine, actress Sadie Frost has said the only thing that matters is that you should be size you. You should be proud of who you are, regardless of your size. So the question is, can you truly love yourself no matter what? Um, does your weight have anything to do with it? Does it affect your self-esteem? Mm. It affects my mood. I mean, I'm not, I'm not as obsessed with being a size 10, say, that I used to be in, in, in my earlier days. I'm a, I'm a size 12, and as long as I stick to being that, I'm all right. Yeah. But if I overindulge like I did at Christmas, I then can't bear it. I just, I can't bear that feeling, and it really affects my mood, and I get really, really grumpy. So I mean, I think it's, then? I think, because, because there's loads of chips there. Yes, we do it, yeah. I don't I have know, your, I, I don't have your self-control. I mean, it, you know, it, it doesn't sort of affect my, my, my confidence uh, per se, but it, do, it does affect the way that I feel, feel. Now, talking about, I think it's fantastic to celebrate curves. I think that, you know, women with a, with a shape are much more attractive than skinny lizzies, but I also don't think that we should celebrate people being fat either mm. but it seems to be this tendency that um uh, it was like years ago when that big lovely lass but one pop idol and everyone was going you see look at her like this i mean she was obese that girl and she admitted that herself now if that girl had been anorexic we wouldn't have been celebrating it and i don't think we should celebrate fatness and i also don't believe that massive huge obese people do look in the mirror and go yep that's but I think me there's a they don't they there's can't a, there's a difference isn't there being being kind of obese or curvy and the thing is i think a lot of these magazines and papers and things they they pay lip service to you know every so often one of these articles will come up you know big and beautiful and love oh. your curves and two pages but down the or the Day, them, exactly. mm. It'll say, you know, big close-up. Look at her cellulite, and all oh, look at her fat hanging over her, her jeans. So it, it's, you can't win. And I do think, particularly women, we are bombarded with images of airbrushed women, very, very skinny women, and you know they look good in the magazines. They look good on TV. But that's but why it's, they're there. But in real yeah. life, but it's that's different. why. And I, you know, I absolutely endorse that. I think. People should be happy in their own skin, Definitely. whatever it is. But you but think Cheryl no. Cole's looking a bit porky? <laughs> I didn't say. I didn't say I think she's looking a bit porky. What I said is I thought she's not quite as skinny as she used to be. She's looking so, well. Th yeah, no, yeah. She, no, she looks all right. <laughs> so don't get me into trouble. But again, you know, I'm like, I'm like you. I don't think it's right to say to people it's okay to be fat because deep down most people don't want to be. And the thing is. It's like a, it's a massive, massive business out there trying to get women to try and lose weight all the time, to make them feel insecure, to make them, you know, not have any self-confidence so that they will, you know, always be on a diet. And, you know, frankly, when you say... <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but when you say, oh, I just ate so much and then I was just in a bad mood because I was feeling fat... You know, if you just didn't eat so much in the first place, you wouldn't feel like that. <laughs> and I don't understand why you would try. But why would you make yourself feel so unhappy and so and it's so not, it's, it's moody sometimes, about but, yourself? But it's sometimes an emotional thing as well. Why you know, some people have that much control over wine that you have over pies. Then, <laughs> <laughs> well, because I'm not trying to I give think, it I up. Do am think, I? I do I'm not think going some on a drink people, diet. You obviously find it easy. Food is not an issue for you. But I do think there are people that not have really, a real yeah. problem. They mentally. Sometimes it's in in their head. It's almost I, like an I, I, head. I mean, I did. I've still got a massive guilt thing about weight because years ago I was I got very 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 thin and um, and the guilt trip was I used to carry a, a Kit Kat around with me all the time and people used to think that that's all I ate and that's why I, I was so thin. But I, I the thing was I've still got it and it's an emotional thing with me. It's a mental thing. I can't get you know I will see a bowl of chips and I'll eat the chips. The guilt so I go I. through because it's it's but you don't it isn't caused by your yes, first but husband. it isn't as easy as you're saying. People, uh, food is a very difficult and it's a mental thing and it's a problem for some people. It's not as easy to say don't eat it. That's not that's so simple, Carol. Oh. People's lives aren't that simple. You can't say do and don't. The reason they do, I mean, the reason I get a guilt trip every time I, I can't eat understand anything. it. I can't understand why you would pick up a giant cake and eat the whole thing and make yourself feel sick and then feel like you hate but yourself because, because like you've eaten it. Eat. it. Because I think it's a battle. Yeah, I think it's a battle. Some people, exists. it is an addiction. It's a battle. I mean, I think Sadie Frost has got a point. Is like kind of love size you, and if you genuinely are happy, if you are, bigger, yeah, and with your great. curves, I think that.
that's and that's great. so attractive as well yeah. when you do see that. But there's pressure. There is pressure, isn't there, on all of us to look good. Uh, interesting to know what you think, obviously. Uh, there's plenty more still to come after the break. We'll be catching up.